ACO approved, ACO sanctioned, and they find themselves the host of center court action all night long here on stadium. So Caleb and, and Adrian, I, I know Adrian's been playing about three years, Caleb about four. And we uh, saw some fantastic piece about uh, over various social medias about uh, the, the Hurt Locker, as we call it. Yeah. You know, you've got Rex and Becky Hurt, and Rex is a fine player himself. Absolutely. The father of both Caleb and Isaac, his 13-year-old little brother. And uh, those guys certainly have a fantastic setup at home where they play. And, and they have a sister, Gracie, that plays mm, also. Yeah, well, him. that's the name that's starting yeah. to emerge as well. So just when you think you've had all the hurt you can take, yeah, there's, there's more, more hurt coming. coming. <laughs> that's exactly right. That is a great one, Finn. That yeah. might be a T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Maybe I should take over their merchandise. The hurt should <laughs> jump right all over that one now. Oh, there's no question whatsoever. <laughs> and I knew Becky wasn't going to be more than about 30 feet away <laughs> from any of this. Their mom yeah. boy lives in. You talk about living and dying on every single shot. Oh, yes. She's got her camera. She's ready to go. And... Uh, we are looking at one a single game for this championship, well, one game for this co-ed yes. championship. So there is no double dip necessary, which we did see in order to get out of that bracket B. Spencer and Maddie did have to double dip Ashley and Craig Irvin, yes. which they did, and now they face off here against Caleb Hurt and Adrian Woodward. All right, bring Frank Gears has given the command to bring it, and they are going to. Now, did, did I did I hear correctly? Did I hear? Uh, he, he asked Caleb, "Are you ready?" He said, "Yes, sir." He asked Spencer, "Are you ready?" I think I think he said, "Always." Always. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Yeah. You gotta love. You gotta love that kind of confidence. And uh, after what they just pulled off against the Irvins, they Man, absolutely I'm, deserve every bit of it. That's a nice yeah. bag there from Caleb. To You're going to see some outside. nice bags out of Caleb. Uh -huh. he, he's not wearing a he's one on his pro jersey for no. a reason. Because uh, yeah. he didn't get there. Look at that look. nice roll. <laughs> Man, these guys, they make these bags look so easy sometimes. Mm -hmm. Boy, and there's a little bit of a stack. But he can still he can still get it up and over. They, they're, Yeah. She said roll it, Adrian's but I don't see any hold there. Move. Well, if he rolls this one, I may get up. He's going up and over nah. and <laughs> happy just to have it. Take the, take the four. Stick, and they do. They pick up four, I think. It looks like. Yep. Yeah, they're going to grab four out of that. I did think he was going to be able to roll it up and take it in there about that 3 o'clock position, but uh, that was not the case. You know, we talked about last night how the co-ed division has grown, and out of the co-ed division, the women's division has grown because husband and wife, mm -hmm. boyfriend, girlfriend, let me tell you, I, I used to see Adrian Woodward sitting around watching all of Caleb's matches, sure. not playing, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden now she's on the main stage. And she was on the main stage in the blind draw, and I think they came up a little short. She came up second, but here she is going all the way to the finals of the main mm -hmm. blind draw, and she's on center stage. And I told her she's hogging it up all of a sudden, you know. <laughs> and she, she wouldn't even play yeah. a couple years ago when I first met her. I think there is some, it's a little bit of magic to the name Hurt when you yeah. line yourself up and sidle up to the name Hurt. There's a little bit of a cornhole magic waiting to happen, mm -hmm. and it's it's interesting. Now, I, I did I understand correctly? They are dating, or they're dating yes, I think one another? I think they're dating okay. one another. Because she did say, she goes, well, I got into it because my boyfriend and his family got me into playing. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, oh, oh how oh. about that? What a hey. shot. Hey, well, let me let me get you what you might not have caught right there. Spencer wanted her to step out and throw a good push. And she push. shook him off mm -hmm. and said, I want to shoot the airmail. And she did it perfectly. She did it. And it, it yields only one point after all of that. Yes. It's crazy to think that that just grabs you one point. Mm -hmm. But that's how tight. I think you're going to see the competition in this single game co-ed final. But uh, you, you see Caleb Hart playing with uh, his girlfriend, Adrian, in this tournament, normally mm -hmm. his partner, Tammy Williams. Yes. You know, they won a world championship before. Yes, they did. And they come in, as you mentioned earlier, you know, not a lot of experience necessarily playing together at this level, but they come in as this throw. Oh, that's nicely done just to, <laughs> just, just to clean up the hole. But they come in as the 37 seed and in the king seed. For co ed yes, doubles, sir. so you gotta love that. Oh, oh, there's oh. a rare miss up to the to the left that allows Garner and McBride to and I was gonna post mention another penny on that on that magical run that uh, Maddie and Spencer went on last year at the world championship. Caleb and Tammy were standing in their way and they they did beat them. Mm -hmm. And so 
he's got some experience playing against Caleb, and I think Caleb actually threw against Maddie, and Maddie didn't give up anything against Caleb Hurd. Now, I remember working with Jay Boogie and telling him, man, that really surprises me that she gives up zero points to Caleb Hurd, one of the best players in the world. Yep. Oh, she went for another one. <coughs> Spencer just turns his head going, what? Well, she was feeling that one, and yeah. I think she might have overfelt it just a little bit. So it's going to just yield the single there. But uh, Hurt Woodward out top of on top of Garner McBride, 5-3. to three. Caleb's sweet tea and spaghetti, that's his go-to. <laughs> I just love seeing what kind of food they like. Yeah. Adrian. And honestly, at 19, I'm surprised. Well, sweet tea doesn't surprise me being out of Madison, Virginia and the SVC, but seafood. I don't know that I ever became a seafood aficionado no. until well past my 20s. Really? There was a lot of it where I looked at it and said, mm, I don't think I'm, I'm going to put I'm that gonna... in my mouth. And, and, and look at you me. you wish you would have <laughs> tried long ago. <laughs> How did I miss out on that? Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did a lot of traveling. I ordered a lot of hamburgers at seafood yeah. restaurants, and I think that my father's worst day of his financial life was when I decided I liked scallops and shrimp. Nice. Oh, how yes. about that and lobster? Boy, talk about <laughs> fishing. He really, really went fishing for he that did. one. He did. And he got it. You know, he's talking about He hooked that. it all. I wouldn't even eat a salad until I went to a wedding one time, <laughs> and they served it, and it tasted like a Big Mac. You know what I mean? A salad? Yeah. Oh, you know, man, I, I should have thousand done. island dressing tasted just like a Big Mac, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can get a salad that tastes like a steak, I would. I would I'll, I'll even go to a wedding. There you go. That. All right, so they just continue firing a little bit off to the left, and that bag out of play there for Maddie. But uh, Adrian is throwing really, yeah, really she well. She really is, and, and uh, that bag, no question whatsoever, out of play. But she returns the favor because that one's not going anywhere. She's not going to be able to draw that one back in, so she's just going to have to take the center and put it in. And just and a, uh, another day at the office, right there. Yep, she sure does. You know, you go back to that uh, cleanup that Caleb did earlier. You know, he does that like it's nothing to it. I still I have to do that, and it just stresses me out to the mm -hmm. max. Well, and again, we've discussed this, and we talked a lot about it last night. And if you missed everything last night on stadium, or maybe you didn't realize we were on two nights in a row, you can certainly go back and watch night number one once they get everything posted. But go back and watch some of the fantastic competition that was in the juniors and we talked about the the speed with which the juniors play but also the fearlessness yes. with which they play and we're seeing a lot of that here and you saw that against the Irvins they they did not ever think they were out of the game and clearly they were not no that's a nice bag to clean up right yeah. there kind of roll that other one in behind it Caleb says all right just another Four point, uh, eight tw bagger. 12 point wash mm -hmm. that? anything you can do I that's can do right. right behind you Two awesome players, both wearing the pro jerseys. Mm -hmm. And you see, as you mentioned, Caleb wearing that number one. He was player of the season. Absolutely. And uh, he and Austin Cameron both coming in at number one with the rankings. Austin yes. Cameron, another junior, also out of SVC, Shen Shenandoah imagine. Valley Cornhole. And another, uh, another reason why these players out of SVC play so well is they're playing the best every, every single time, time they play. That's a great That's point, a really man. Nice, that is a great point. Really nice bag there to sneak oh. in around the right-hand side. She says, my fault. Yeah, my bad. My, my bad. bad. Adrian could snap three right here. And mm. all the hell up on her. They're throwing the BG bags. A little slower carpet bag. And uh, that's probably why she threw that on the sticky side. Caleb seems to find his groove with these BG bags. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to seeing him throwing Reynolds. And uh, seems to find the groove here with the BG. Right around it. That's that get around bag. Well, and I think those, uh, those Reynolds bags are probably what helped him bring Adrian into the fold because those are very, very player friendly bags yes. to get you started if you were trying yes. to figure out. I mean, these OG uh, bags that the ACO pioneered back in the day, you really have to play old school cornhole to know how to work that stick That's and correct. slick side of those bags. But these are some of these Reynolds and oh. some of the Vipers and others that have, uh, as, as you just heard Spencer mention, slither, the word slither. <laughs> these bags slither. I didn't know Spencer <laughs> could spell slither. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh. 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 And it slithered to a halt. Yeah, it did. It did. It <laughs> slithered and stuck. Oh, boy. So stuck on 6-5, it is a uh, 
It's going to be another great match. We have seen yes. so many great matches here on center court. Philip Barnett, uh, my partner here in the booth. I am Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO. Been pleased to have been a part of the organization for right around a decade as the announcer, but just yeah. a, a general fan, not only of just the sport, but the organization. And while I'm not what you would call, um, what are the, how my game would not be considered, what's the word they use, good, yeah. um, it is a lot of fun to, to watch and see the style and finesse that has developed. That's and these young players are bringing new shots to the game, which we've discussed, that roll yeah. shot, which we may see at some point here. You've mentioned the block and roll, yeah. which uh, is, a, is a cool new shot added to the arsenal. So yeah, lots of opportunity here to, uh, to live and learn. And they can throw these bags that they're throwing and just curl right around the bag sitting right in the middle. I, I can practice that for days and can't, can't figure mm -hmm. it out. So. Maybe I'm just a little bit past my time. How about well, that? I would tell you, too. I mean, we know that Caleb and Isaac throw, and, and probably more so than Caleb. I think Isaac has found other things as he's, you know, oh, nicely done. He drops a bag and replaces it with one that should fall. You know, Isaac has other things going on at 13. You know, there's some video games and other mm -hmm. things like this. But honestly, ultimately, the ability to make a living doing this, which most people don't believe you can. Oh, boy, he yeah. tried to shoot it, and he bounced it off the back. But knowing that, Caleb says he plays as much as he can, as much as he can, sometimes every single day, yes. seven days a week, and that is how it happens. I mean, you, you don't get to be Tiger Woods status or Michael Jordan That's status right. without that kind of time investment. All right, so she's going to direct him low to the right to try to come in. I don't really Let's know. See, what man. can he do with this? He shoots there, man. Oh, oh, and hits the back of the hole. He just didn't have enough. He gave up three. And that was a good shot, really, by Spencer. It just, it was. just a little bit long, held up on the back of the hole. Boy, and you know that, Philip, too. We talk about that airmail. He, he tried to come up and put it over the back, but that's a really good shot that he didn't hit one of those bags that was stacked up and throw his off the back. Mm -hmm. That was an absolutely a, a risk. Yeah, and I tell you, look at, look at, look at Adrian. Mm, she's dialed in. Yeah, she really is, and she is making it look really easy right here. And what's interesting, if you notice, Everybody has a different way of throwing. Yeah. We've discussed this time and time again. Watch how she grips the bag. She bunches it up in her hand, and yet it still leaves her hand and becomes a nice flat bag. But watch how she gri she almost makes a fist yeah. with that bag. I call that the butterfly grip. See a well, lot of players. Oh, oh, that's man. a fantastic shot. What though. a shot. But again, that butterfly grip, sometimes you, you're building that bow tie with mm -hmm. the bag. She's got it gripped up almost like a, yeah. like a tennis ball when she lets it go, and yet still flies nice and flat and that's the key as you've told right. me a number of times that flat bag is the key to everything absolutely that's where it all starts it and in that flat bag and uh she is man she's been very very impressive and that's how i don't know if you saw she wanted to slip the bag over to the fast side and try to get the push mm -hmm. and caleb said no nah, go on the sticky and go around it and she did it to perfection she really did spencer looks a little nervous she's going to deliver the high Misses, oh, five boy. points. Yeah. High bag off the back side of the board there, and again, 14 to five. Again, we've seen it before. <laughs> I, I, I hate to <laughs> to lean one direction or another That's with right. what I think is going to happen because, to be honest with you, we won't know until one of those turns to 21. That's correct. We're not going to know. No, I'm never counting any of these mm -hmm. teams out. And I'll tell you, you've got Caleb Hurt. It's not going to give Spencer no. too many chances. So I think it's going to come down to the ladies. And so far, Adrian has held her own she against really one has. of the fine player, Maddie McBride. Mm -hmm. Boy, and Caleb, you talk about a flat bag. I call yes. his the spaceship bag. And Spencer answers with one as well. He's got a little bit faster spin on his bag than Caleb does. Yeah. And what's interesting, that the speed of that spin is the secret to each of their ability to control the shots they want to control. That's because correct. you see them both hit the center and slide straight up, straight up the center, no matter the speed of the mm -hmm. rotation. But that is that's that speed that allows them to do what they want to do when they decide to do something other than just run the center. I'll tell you, and Maddie, she, she might be starting that's to feel nice a little bag. pressure on her the way Adrian is putting it on her. Yeah, Adrian just drove that yeah. one, pushed it through, and picked up both. That was a nice drive. Big bag right here. And Spencer she's says relax, tells her yeah. to relax. She is, she's firing quickly. Yes, yeah, she is. Oh, that was a good bag. She needed that one. Tough shot right there, too, the way the bags were sitting. Mm -hmm. Kayla points down low right. We've seen her do that oh. a number of times, and she got a little bit of a, a push and off oh. left. So 
Actually, the first mistake that she really yeah, made in, really this, is. in this whole match. And a bag off to the board. Cost them a couple of points. They yeah. still were able to pick up one, so 17 to 5 again. I did mention I wasn't going to talk about the score because it doesn't seem relevant no. until we get to 20, but certainly worth mentioning if you are uh, out grabbing a cold one and listening and not seeing here on your screen. Again, I am uh, Finn, the loudmouth for the ACO, the American Cornhole Organization, alongside Philip Barnett, player pro, Ooh. and uh, also active in the singles division right now. Right. So at some point, I'm going to have to bid you farewell so you can go down and clean house and maybe work your oh, way back here to center man. court. That was very nicely done there. I'll tell you what, the game is sitting there right now for Caleb and uh, Adrian to oh, finish boy. it. He goes in here, and this game is history. Uh, that bag the, comes off oh. the back, too. Mm. I don't think it uh, now. That's Spencer's, not what he wanted to do at all. And Spencer has this shot now. He's gonna, he's gonna have to airmail over Caleb's bag to keep this game going. <laughs> and look at Caleb's face. Yeah. He knows he can do it too. He's uh, he's not standing off going off. Well, this Spencer's is ours. been dodging them all night long. Here we go again. <laughs> going up. Nope. Oh, and it just and sits still. It. Now we found ourselves. Co-ed champions, congratulations to Caleb Hurt, Adrian Woodward. How about that? Coming in as the 37th seed, and we will welcome them to the booth here in just a moment. But uh, boy, that was something else right there, and that was a that was a game that uh, I was very interested to see because I've not seen Caleb and Adrian play together. So we'll find out who is going to be the spokesperson for the for the two. Who who wants to be the spokesperson for the team? Caleb, do you want to do it, or do you want to let Adrian do it? Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, man, that's that's good stuff. Boy, I tell you what, you two, having watched what it took for them to get there and to see them be down as far as they were and come back and double dip, when you're watching that, do you, do you I mean, and, and, and you can talk about your, your relative inexperience with regard to playing together, but did you look at that and go, uh-oh, you know, they're, they're on fire. What, where was your head when that game started? Yeah, well, when we started, I, I knew that they were going to be hot just because they had played a game. So I kind of knew that we had to come out the gate. Like, it wasn't no, you can't start off slow, especially after a team has them played a game like that. So all gas, no breaks. Yeah, it was. There was a lot There was a lot of that gas. Now, uh, I do, I do want to ask uh, Adrian, I, you showed no fear whatsoever in under the spotlight if you want to hand her that that real quick i want i want to i want to hear this straight from you because i want to know under that spotlight you've been under that spotlight a whole bunch and you have performed admirably every single time but you under that spotlight really for the first handful of times you showed no fear i mean philip talked about it he goes man she is just on point but i felt it <laughs> you did you didn't show it if you felt it, you did not show it. I was shaking. <laughs> really? Well, you know, it's funny. I, your grip on the bag, we talked about it. Philip talks about the butterfly grip, but you have more of like a snowball grip when you grip it and then somehow it comes out flat like that. Were you gripping it a little bit harder this time, a little more um, nervous? No. Every, everybody kind of says I throw, I hold my bag weird, but. Well, it's like you're gripping a stress ball. You know, it sounds it's like, yeah. you know, you see this and, you know, you see that plenty of that and you see this, but you never really see this yeah. and you were really doing that. So I thought, oh, boy, I bet they better win her. <laughs> He's going to lose some hair. <laughs> well, congratulations, yeah. co-ed champions. Anything, yeah. anything yeah, you I can think of just a. You, you know me playing with Tammy and then now you get a major victory with Adrian. And I'll tell you, I, I, I have been totally impressed with your play. You threw amazing out there. Thank it's you. a great play. Thank you. So. All right. Congratulations to well, you. For some reason, I don't feel like this is the last time we're going to be saying no, this to you or really? you're going to be walking away with those. So hold them up and show the world. Co-ed champions here at the Owensboro Major here on the south side of the mighty Ohio River. SVC proud. Very nicely yeah. done. All right. We are going to continue to move along. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't crown a third and fourth place winner. That's right. 